Hi, this is CK at CK Education. One of the big problems that a lot of people have that I see in my life and I've seen throughout my life so far is that a lot of people listen to too many voices. Now, it's great to get advice from a lot of people and to read a lot of books and to seek out a lot of information in order to make good decisions and in order to make wise decisions. And in fact, when people don't seek good advice and people don't seek good information before making decisions, it often turns out to be foolish decisions. Um, but it can go the other way. If you don't seek advice from the right people, if you just listen to all the people around you, if you have no filter, and when I say no filter, I'm not talking about what you're saying. Often when we say that, we think I have no filter. I just say whatever. I'm talking about a filter um, about the things you hear. So somebody wants to, to buy a house. Well, my friend said, my neighbor said, my uncle said, my, my, you know, my uh, co-worker said, my boss said, my banker said, my accountant said. Like everybody has an opinion on something. But, and, and when you're trying to make a decision, you listen to all of the voices. You say, I'm, I'm just so, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Like I, so you got to learn to filter. And if you don't do this and, and you constantly allow yourself to be bombarded by multiple voices and from people who really don't know what they're talking about, you're not going to make the decisions. You're going to get paralyzed because you just you just don't know which way to go it's overwhelming now i just had too, too much information i don't know what to do if you're this kind of person where you have you know analysis paralysis you know and you just i just too much information i don't know what to do it's because you're you don't know how to filter good information from bad information valuable from invaluable but you have to be able to do that so let me give you one filter that is very easy when you are trying to make some kind of decision or, you know, uh, and, and try, trying to understand how to think about certain things or you need to learn something, you don't know where to go or you don't know what to do. I think the first easy filter is you should only listen to people who have experience in that thing, who have actually done it. Okay. Do not listen to people who've merely read books. Do not listen to people who who really haven't done it. It's just their opinion. They think it'll work. They saw somebody who did it. They they heard of a person one one time who did it, or they know of someone who did it, but they themselves never did it. They have no experience in this thing. I wouldn't listen to those people. I wouldn't take heed. I I, I would not heed their advice. Now I'm not saying that we are we should disrespect people or cut them out of their lives or anything like that, out of our lives. All I'm saying is, if you are looking for people to take advice from and act on that advice, it has to be people who know what they're talking about, okay? So, and, and don't be confused about, oh, this person has a master's degree in that or a PhD in that, or it doesn't matter about anything like that. Again, I said experience, not degrees, okay? Not theories, People who have experience. So that's one filter. Um, and if you do that, I think you can sort of cancel out a lot of voices. Secondly, just because there are people around you who love you, don't confuse love and care for good advice. Your parents may love you very much. Your siblings may must, you know, they, they love you very much. Your spouse loves you very much. Your kids love you very much. But that doesn't mean that they can give you the best advice on the thing that you need advice on. So don't confuse the love and the care and the trust with good advice. Again, if you're trying to make decisions in life, it has to be from experience. Number three, don't confuse experience with experience okay not all experiences are the same is what i'm saying just because somebody experienced something if they only experienced it one time and they didn't do a very good job of it maybe they have learned some lessons from it but maybe they haven't done it enough to really advise somebody on that thing so be careful just because somebody oh i remember oh this guy he did it one time 
Maybe you want to take advice from someone who's done it for more than just one time or more than just one month. Okay. But again, it's just because somebody has some experience doesn't necessarily mean that again, that's the best advice. It has to be, and it should be from someone who's had multiple and many experiences in the thing that you're talking about. They have actually advise other people in the past and have gotten good results, okay? They have to have a proven record is what I'm saying. Don't just, you know, just not all advice is the same. And number four, the last thing I would say is to help you filter information and, and all these voices is listen to your own voice in your own heart. This is so important. You know, have you, if you've watched um, some YouTube videos, you know where uh, and these are, you know, terrible situations, but you know, like sometimes um, people get mugged or they get robbed or they get attacked in the street or something like that. And, and, you know, you see these YouTube videos, there's a lady, it's like, you know, one o'clock in the morning, it's, it's very dark and, and, and she's at an ATM machine and somebody attacks her or uh, someone goes into an elevator and somebody gets attacked or mugged, you know, these kinds of situations. Okay. And, and often when you, when they file a police report or, or, or when they, are interviewed later, they often say things like, man, I, I, I just had this feeling. I just had this gut feeling like not to get in the elevator with that guy or not to go into that ATM, you know, area right there. You know, I just, I just, I felt that so strongly, but I just thought to myself, well, I'm probably just overreacting. And I, and I just, I just did it. And I shouldn't have because it, it, I got mugged. I got robbed. I got assaulted, whatever. Okay. And not only in those situations, but often in my life, I've learned over the years to really trust my gut. There are reasons why we feel certain things. Like you go to a certain restaurant, and you know how people, you go to a certain restaurant or a certain place, and you're like, you know, I don't know. I, I, it's just something about the place. I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but I don't really like this place. It's not for you. Okay. It's not for everybody. And trust your gut. That. For whatever reason. And there doesn't have to be, oh, this is why. It's just a very strong feeling. Trust it. Okay? I've learned to trust that. It's it's like our natural radar. You know, it's like a God-given radar. And so it's very important that you trust your instincts. You trust your gut. You meet somebody like, I don't know, man. It's just something about that person. It just, you know. And I, you can't really quite put your finger on it. But there's something about that person I don't trust. Or trust your gut. Trust your gut feeling on these things, okay? So that is a much better thing to listen to than all these other voices, especially from people who don't know because they have no experience. So I've given you at least four different things to help you filter these voices. So rewind this video, go back, list them down, write them down, implement it in your life, and it will change your life because all the things that I share with you, these are things that have changed my life. These are things that have often taken me many, many years to learn and experience in my own life. So I hope it helps you. And I make these videos every single day. I upload one new video in the hopes that it will help somebody. It will help improve your life. And so I have over 130 some, I have 130 some videos on my channel. I hope you'll watch um, many of them and uh, with the goal of, you know, it improving your life. So I hope you do that. And if this video was helpful, I hope you'll share it. And uh, thanks for, so much for watching this video. And until my next one, please stay well.